Hello and welcome back to Sessions on Amadeus with Travel Academy English. My name is Gaurav Kira and today we will be discussing about how do we issue tickets on Amadeus. A very interesting topic, uh, generally considered to be a very difficult one, though once you see this video, you will understand that it is a very easy topic. There's nothing that we do much in this uh, topic. So uh, before we start, you're coming here for the first time, you can uh, subscribe to the channel and uh, we also have a travel academy channel on uh, telegram the link is in the description you go ahead you can you know click on that you will see uh, you know more than 1500 subscribers on that and a lot of questions that we put daily study material has been put over there so you can enhance your knowledge through this now to start this let's uh, pick up an itinerary uh, we have covered a lot of videos before uh, now the next one is how to issue tickets so let's pick up a flight on tw 12th of july from Delhi to London uh, on British Airways. I hope you know how to pick this up. If you are on this video, if you are coming here for the first time, it is better that you see all the videos that we have uh, before this. We already have a channel uh, on YouTube um, and uh, this is the second channel that we have started because of the demand that we received around the world. Uh, people wanted you know, to learn Amadeus uh, in English. So we uh, started this one uh, so you're coming here for the first time please subscribe us now let's pick up this flight ss1 y1 is the first flight that we have picked on british airways you do acr and we can run this command and pick up the same airlines on 15th of july now you see this so we, we have a flight going out on british airways 12th of july and we are coming back on 15th of july from Delhi to London Heathrow, London Heathrow to Delhi. The timings are here. Now, let's price this. If we price it in the same class, it is FXX. We do not want to price it in the same class. We want to price it in the lowest one. So we do FXR. Now, when you do FXR, it gives you this price. It brings you down to Victor and Bravo class. So let us uh, add a name. Jane, Patrick, Mr. And now let's do TKTL. Let's do APM hyphen phone number and let's save it. Okay, I haven't saved the price yet. So if you want, we can save the price. To save the price, what we do is FXP, enter. And uh, we have got three different options. There are three different fair families. One is uh, baggage and uh, one is uh, economic sell. So basically, you know, you, you get different prices under the same classes. Some uh, prices gives you extra baggage. Some prices gives you more flexibility in date change and, and all that. So you can simply pick it up with FXT and the line number three, which means I'm going to be picking up this one. It says uh, second and third fair family includes a bag. So I'm okay with the bag. If we pick up the first one, then we get along with bag, we get economic sell, which means we will be getting a flexible ticket. Uh, changes will be uh, of low cost or maybe no cost. So let's do FXT3 and or we could just go to when we do FXP. If we get three options, generally with FXP, it gets saved if there is no fair family. But if there are more fair families, you can just go to one and you can press enter it will automatically run fxt command now uh, let's see how do we issue tickets so whenever you do something you first save it i'm doing rf and uh, my name and er and er so because you know generally what should i do is rf and i should type in my name and i should do er and then er but then you know as you work more on amadeus uh, you start, uh, you know, realizing that, okay, you know, it is a wastage of time to write your name again and again. I've been using it for last 12 years. So I've got used to typing RFG. So it is all right, even if you run just one letter. <laughs> now, um, also, if you want uh, one on one live sessions, uh, you can uh, call in this number, which is on the screen. Also, we have, uh, we are in process of making an app. So whenever you get stuck anywhere, that, that app is being created from the mindset that whenever you get stuck somewhere you have a solution automated solution you go to that app and you find a solution for that specific problem that you are in right now now to issue tickets we generally need three things 
uh let's go to this let me you know just create a space for this so to, to issue tickets we need f v which is validating carrier we discussed about this in the previous video fp which is form of payment and fm which is commission let me tell you more about these validating carrier is the carrier on which uh, the tickets will be issued it is generally the carrier on which you uh, have uh, the maximum miles while traveling or uh, it, it, it will be automatically picked up for example if you look at this it was british airways we picked up the flight with british airways and automatically when we saved the price it created an element of fv i move up here look at this uh, till here till here there is no fv the moment we saved the price an element of FV got created. So FV gets created only when we save the price and we don't have to do it ourselves. It will be automatically done by Amadeus, which means that the ticket will be issued on which sector here. You can see it will be issued on British Airways. So that's that. That's all that we have in FV. The second is commission. So you will know from the airlines and how much commission you will be getting. Just remember one thing. I'm just opening the uh, TST with the command TQT, the saved fare. Always remember that you will get the commission on the base fare and not the total fare because total fare also includes taxes in it. And uh, taxes is not something that we will be getting uh, commission on. So, yes, so we will be just getting uh, commission on the base fare, which is in this case 72,008. Let's say the commission is 5%. So, we do FM5 and enter. So, we type in the commission percentage over here. If you want, you can also type the amount like FM, let's say it was 100, uh, whatever Amadeus you are using, it will automatically take the same currency. So right now we're using um, uh, Philippines Amadeus, so it will take its currency, which is Philippines Peso. So if, I, if, if it is 100 Philippines Peso, I will do FM 100 A, A means the amount. So if it is the amount that you are entering, which is generally less, uh, mostly we have the commission. So you do FM and then the percentage. So if the percentage is 2, then it is FM2. In this case, we have entered FM5, which means 5% is the commission percentage. Uh, okay, the question will be, how would we know it? You just need to contact the airlines. And actually, it is the other way around. Airlines contact you because they want you to issue the tickets, uh, issue their tickets over the competition. Now, two things are done. The next thing, which is also a very important thing, is form of payment. Now, form of payment is uh, is something which means this, this is not in which form uh, travel agency is receiving money. This is basically in which form airlines is receiving money. It is very important to understand that which form airlines is receiving money in. Is it receiving money in cash? Cash doesn't mean cash. Cash means that, you know, when you take IATA, you... Uh, basically uh, uh, you know pay some bank guarantee some security and uh, as per the security bank guarantee that you have paid uh, ITAR gives you a credit limit where it means that you can issue things on cash you can issue tickets on cash and uh, you can pay them after three four days so that is the leverage that you get uh, you know you get basically in the working the, your working capital doesn't get stuck in between because generally you know when you uh, get payment from the from the client uh, it gets stuck in the payment gateway for two three days but then you have to pay the airlines right away so if you have uh, paid the, some guarantee to the airlines already to the ita already your money will not get stuck in between you will just be like okay uh, i might receive the money from my customer in two three days but i don't have to pay to the airlines also instantly i have three four days to pay them so we can do it in fp cash or you can do it in fp card so card is like credit card you can just do you can just ask help from amadeus you can do he and uh, fp which is form of payment have a look at uh, let me move down look at this command it says it is under ms358 
FPCC that is credit card CA belongs to MasterCard if it is Visa it is VI American Express is AX Discover I think is DI we can open MS358 to check that and then you type in the card number slash uh, the expiration date slash the CVV code and the amount if you want to write if you don't want to write it is okay it will automatically deduct the amount which is mentioned in the ticket so this is the command that we use but we will not be using this command in this uh, uh, you know video we will be issuing ticket on cash so FP cash is what we need to type in enter so it is like three things one was already here FV FP cash is what we have entered the the uh, form of payment in which the airlines will be receiving the amount from us and FM is the commission now let's save it IR it is very important to refresh also IR is very important uh, um, now let's issue the ticket to issue ticket the command is really simple you can uh, simply type in TTP slash RT you can also type TTP slash AT slash RT depending on your uh, you know company you if, if you just you know run TTP it will also issue the tickets ET means electronic and then and transaction and RT basically is uh, to retrieve if I do not run this again you will be having a ticket but the problem is that if you do not run RT it will ignore the PNR and then you have to get into a PNR once again so that's one problem that we have so what we do is we do TTP slash ET slash RT enter and now we wait and here it says it is okay ticket which means the ticket has been issued you do rttn rttn is a command to retrieve ticket number rttn is the command to retrieve ticket number you press enter we have a ticket number here have a look at this it says 125 that is the airlines designator and uh, this 10 digit ticket number is here it is electronic ticket british airways PHP this is the amount 105,924 this is the date of issuance on 8th of May we have issued this ticket uh, this is the office ID that we have this is the ITA ID we have and this is the segment number so basically we have a ticket number right here in front of us 12567924464462 how to read this how to understand this what are the fair bases and what are uh, the ticket status is something we will cover in the next video but how to issue ticket is is something uh, we just saw i'll show you this once again have a look at this we run, ran that command of fxd let's run a command fxd delhi uh on 10th of july to amsterdam coming back on the 20th of july back to delhi we have covered this command whenever you have to put a filter in fxd you need to put two slashes the first filter has to be with two slashes we put airlines kl and we press enter this is the first flight that we have got uh, which is with klm uh, the cheapest flight of the day with klm is 58105 let's pick up the first option fxz01 now let's add a name nm1 jane patrick mr and enter dktl ap m and the phone number and then we can just price it again fxr you can just save it again this is fxp we have got two options either you can select the first one or the second one the first one it says the second one is light the first one is standard so light means uh, most probably there is no baggage in it standard means that there is a baggage included in this so let's choose uh, the baggage one and now this is the price that we have got this is uh, with one piece and the total price is 63,794 now let's save this rf your name and er er the price is saved i can check it with dqt and let's move to the next thing which we just learned fm is commission let's say it is zero fp let's say it is cash and now let's save it rf er er ir and finally ttp slash rt okay let me show you without anything if you just run ttp and enter it will also issue tickets but when you do rt there is nothing 
because it automatically ignores the PNR. So what we do now is we do RT and we open up this PNR. To, to open a PNR, you don't have to like copy paste it. You can just do RT and double click on the PNR number. It will automatically open. So now you can see on line number six, there is a ticket 0746794494463. This is issued with KLM. 63,794. This includes a baggage in it. 28th of May is the date. And, and so on. Like uh, Amadeus ID, ITA ID, segment 2 and 3. Which means the segments here are 2 and 3. How to issue tickets on a segment price, uh, you know, uh, uh, case is something we will do in the next video. You have any question, you can write in the comment box. I hope, uh, you know, uh, I, I try to make it very fast because I've got some feedbacks that the videos are slow. So I hope uh, you are able to understand this one and uh, uh, you can join the Telegram channel in case you need more training. If in case you need uh, live training one on one, we can do that. You can call on this number and get more details. Thank you so much for watching this video. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.